This is 373, the inlay, and a layout A. Now, when you see this part, everybody gets intimidated because there's a lot of dimensions, there's interlocking pieces, and there's no center lines, so you're not sure where to start. Don't let this bother you and don't make it any harder than it needs to be, okay? We're gonna ignore a lot of these dimensions. We don't really need them. The first thing we're gonna do, like we've done with every drawing, is we're gonna midpoint, midpoint, and put in center lines. Now we're gonna take this a piece at a time. This is a four inch square, okay? It's a four by four square. So our best friend, Offset, is gonna do all the hard work for us. You're gonna go to the offset command and it's four all the way across. So we're not gonna put in four, we need half of that. So you're gonna offset two on both sides of your center line. And it's gonna put a line here and here. Then you're gonna pick this line and you're gonna offset up to and down to. So from both center lines, we offset over to, over to, up to, down to. Now go to your trim command and you just need to trim off the extra corners. Don't trim your center line, just the corner lines. Just trim off the extra at the corners. So all you have left is a square. Now we're gonna offset the rectangle. Okay, so the whole thing is seven across. Half of seven, 3.5. Offset, 3.5. Enter, pick the line. Offset to the right, pick the line. Offset to the left. Now we need this line and this line. Well, the whole thing's two, so offset down one inch and up one inch. Trim off your corners again. And at this point, you can go ahead and erase these center lines. So all you have on your screen is a square and a rectangle. Now, all you have to do is go to offset and offset every line 0.5 towards the center, okay? Don't offset out, offset in. Every line is gonna offset in. Then go to your trim command and pay attention to how they look and trim out your box so they look like they're intertwined. Super easy.